Welcome to our introduction to the 1979 movie Prophecy. Get ready for a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and sad facts about this film, so stick around. Have you ever wondered about lesser-known anecdotes that might fascinate you about this movie? Or perhaps you're curious about what qualities make it a lasting symbol of the industry? Stay tuned for more insights. Now, the movie might not be the most talked about of its time, but it's definitely worth a watch. With its mix of horror and environmental themes, it's a unique entry in the genre. Directed by John Frankenheimer, the film revolves around a mysterious creature wreaking havoc in the forest of Maine. But there's more to it than just scares and thrills. As the story unfolds, you'll encounter a blend of suspenseful moments, unexpected twists, and thought-provoking themes. From the striking visuals to the memorable performances, there's plenty to appreciate about it. Before we delve deeper into it, we want to hear from you. What's your favorite memory or personal experience related to the movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your input adds to the richness of our discussion. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for a journey into its world. You won't want to miss it. Prophecy, released in 1979, had a significant influence on the film industry and remains relevant today. It delivered a powerful environmental message through an engaging storyline. The movie raised awareness about nature conservation and the negative effects of human interference, prompting discussions that continue today. The narrative revolves around a lethal mutant bear causing chaos in a forest, serving as a warning against environmental neglect. By showcasing the repercussions of pollution and deforestation, the film emphasized the pressing need for responsible environmental practices. Prophecy's enduring significance stems from its depiction of the conflict between humanity and nature. The movie explores themes such as corporate greed and the exploitation of natural resources, addressing issues still prevalent in a world grappling with environmental challenges. This thematic depth resonates with audiences, encouraging reflection and inspiring action to reassess their connection with the planet. The movie's impact extends beyond its initial release, influencing future eco-horror films and contributing to broader conversations about environmentalism. Its lasting effect on filmmakers tackling environmental themes ensures that its message remains relevant for new generations. In conclusion, Prophecy's lasting importance lies in its powerful portrayal of environmental issues and the timeless message it conveys. As society continues to face environmental crises, the movie serves as a reminder of the consequences of neglecting our planet. In June 1979, a film premiered in the United States alongside Ridley Scott's Alien. During its making, secrecy surrounded the production. No outsiders, not even studio personnel, were allowed on set. Actors and crew members had to keep quiet about the plot. Security was tight, with only authorized personnel, including a retired CIA agent, overseeing operations. Film critic Leonard Maltin famously compared the monstrous creature in the movie to a giant salami. This description gives a glimpse into its unique visuals, which captivated audiences. The movie stands as a significant piece of cinematic history from 1979, notable for its story and memorable characters. Its influence on the genre can still be seen today, making it an important part of film history. In 1979, a movie called Prophecy hit the screens, marking the return of director John Frankenheimer after a two-year break following his last film, Black Sunday. The movie starred Richard Dysart, who later appeared in another monster flick, John Carpenter's The Thing, in 1982. Talia Shire, known for her roles in Rocky II and Old Boyfriends, also starred in Prophecy in 1979. After its release, Frankenheimer took another hiatus until he directed The Challenge in 1982. About three years later, Dysart joined the cast of The Thing. This response was, in the movie, Robert Foxworth stars as the main character, featuring in his fourth consecutive horror film. Prior to this, he appeared in Death Moon, Damien Omen Roman II, and Ants. Some promotional posters for the film emphasized its suspenseful nature, warning viewers that she lives. Don't move. Don't breathe. There's nowhere to run. She will find you. The Monster Movie. Kevin Peter Hall, a 72 actor, and Stutman portrays Katadin, the mutant bear monster. Hall later played other iconic roles, including the giant egg-headed alien in Without Warning, the titular creature in Predator, and its sequel and Bigfoot in Harry and the Hendersons. The novelization of the 1979 movie was penned by David Seltzer, who also wrote the screenplay. It diverges from the film and offers additional character backgrounds. 
The story falls under the eco-horror subgenre featuring man-made monsters born from pollution or environmental harm. Filmed in British Columbia in 1978, this movie is credited with kickstarting the film industry in Vancouver and other parts of the province. It became known as Hollywood North, attracting numerous productions seeking scenic locales. Since then, British Columbia has hosted countless films and TV series set in the U.S. Robert Foxworth and Victoria Racimo, known for their roles in the nighttime soap Falcon Crest, were part of the cast of the movie in 1979. The film, based on a real-life environmental disaster, took inspiration from the Minamata disaster in Japan, which was revealed in 1958. This tragedy showed that mercury waste from a chemical plant dumped into a nearby river caused severe mutations and neurological problems among the locals. The consequences included the loss of muscle control, vision, and hearing, eventually leading to madness and paralysis. The writer of the movie, David Seltzer, adapted the core story from this devastating environmental incident. The film starkly depicts the results of environmental carelessness, echoing the grim realities faced by the victims in Minamata. Tom McLaughlin, who played a mime in the film, later found success as a writer, producer, and director in the film industry. He notably directed Friday, the 13th part, Six Jason Lives, and worked on Fairy Tale, A True Story. In summary, the movie delves into the harsh aftermath of environmental neglect, drawing from the real-life Minamata disaster. It features Robert Foxworth and Victoria Racimo, both familiar faces from Falcon Crest, while Tom McLaughlin's journey from mime to a successful figure in the film industry adds an interesting layer to the movie's history. Prophecy, a movie from the late 1970s, is primarily set in the woods of Maine, USA, despite being filmed in Crofton, North Couchin, British Columbia, Canada. A review from Time magazine likened Catadon to Smokey the Bear with an advanced acne condition. This film is noted for being part of a wave of horror movies during the 1970s and early 80s that showcased monsters spawned from environmental pollution and human tampering with nature, according to the Q Network Entertainment Portal. Its narrative revolves around the consequences of such interference with the natural world. Prophecy's thematic focus on environmental issues and its unconventional setting contribute to its distinctiveness within the horror genre. In 1979, a thrilling movie hit theaters directed by John Frankenheimer. It was his first step into making scary stories, which he continued with The Island of Dr. Morrow in 1996. Originally, the monster, Katadin, was supposed to be very scary but Frankenheimer thought differently. He wanted it to look more like a bear, like in the original poster. The creature that ended up on screen was both scary and memorable. Even Stephen King, a famous horror writer, liked it. The movie's ability to keep people interested, along with the changes to the monster, impressed King, who's known for liking scary stuff. After the movie ended, it was clear that it had earned a place in scary movie history. The way the monster was designed, the director's choices, and Stephen King's approval all helped make it special. Looking back, prophecy shows how good Frankenheimer was at telling stories that were more than just scary. It made people feel like they were in a world where real life and scary stuff mixed together. This movie, with its monster and its unexpected fans, remains an important part of scary movies, showing how good stories can last a long time. And that's the story of Prophecy, a scary movie that's still remembered. 